Tonight, West 2 Investigates is finding out more about the man accused of kidnapping a woman and holding police at bay inside a home in the villages. According to newly obtained documents, James Savage said he was seeing demons when he went into that rage. As West 2 News investigative reporter Greg Fox reports. So they told me I was going to be able to talk to these reporters in the... Uh, in, in James Savage mostly mumbled to himself when he was loaded into a patrol car following his capture last month. Armed and at times firing shots, he refused for nearly 24 hours to come out of this home in the villages while neighbors waited. Can't tell if he's taken down the garage, but they got five, four or five people, uh, SWAT team all loaded up. And watch the show of force from SWAT teams. The prior day, Savage was recorded on security cameras, brutally beating and kidnapping a woman with whom he had previously had a relationship. West 2 Investigates is not identifying the woman. Eventually, Savage surrendered. Newly filed paperwork shows the state is charging him with felonies, including two counts of aggravated assault on law enforcement officers and firing a gun that, as a convicted felon, he had no right to carry. The home belonged to Lorraine Hero, who talked with West 2 Investigates about how Savage used to be a friend. Yeah, I used to be. Today I say no. Hero found her place in a shambles and, according to documents filed with the court, later told detectives that Savage told her he was not coming out and that he would shoot law enforcement or himself before going back to jail. Savage was convicted in North Carolina and spent more than 17 years in prison for swindling millions of dollars from nearly a dozen women. Detectives also say during the standoff, the defendant, Savage, made threats to blow up the house and at one point, stated he had demons that have taken over and are causing issues in his life. Savage's mental state will likely be debated as he faces trial. In Marion County, Greg Fox, West 2 News. Now, just last August, prosecutors in Marion County dropped charges of stalking and extortion involving the woman who was attacked and detained by Savage March 15th because prosecutors say the woman did not cooperate with the investigation.